Здравствуйте, с вами Михаил Кириченко. Вы смотрите новости Skyway, в которых мы рассказываем вам о разработках и внедрении прорывных транспортных технологий. Вы видите, какой ажиотаж был для того, чтобы нам зайти для финального интервью а, с Родом Хуком. Нам пришлось даже выставить целую очередь. А, итак, мы начали 4 дня назад работу а, в Берлине, я имею в виду а, работу информационной службы за острые технологии интервьюируя Рода Хука. Мы думаем, что на том же месте с тем же человеком сделать интервью, это будет прекрасное завершение нашей работы. Род, um, hello, first of all. Michael, hi. Uh, I told our spectators that uh, we began our work here interviewing you four days ago in Berlin here, right at this spot. And uh, it will be maybe even a good tradition to finish it on the same place with the same man, a highly respected man uh, in our project. So um, people already know your ideas, your thoughts, your plans, uh, how they were uh, on the first day of the exhibition. Please uh, tell us today uh, what has changed, uh, what new developments Uh, have occurred in these days? Uh, well, the questions are still to follow. Okay. Look, I think the first impression I would have uh, is how huge this event has been, how huge this place is. There are so many people here. At times I almost think there are more people here than we have as the whole population in Australia. <laughs> in fact, I think when I catch a train from my hotel here, I think there might be more people on the train than we have in the whole population of Australia. Uh, it's big and it's been a very exciting and well-attended event. There are um, so many exhibitors here, over 2,700. Many of them, I would say, are selling a product. We have a relatively modest stand here at InnoTrans 2016. We're tucked away in the corner, and yet we have encountered just a consistent flow of people who've wanted to come to share, to ask questions, to know more about what we're doing. And I think that is a reinforcement of the quality of product that we're here talking about. Because here at this conference, we have the leading minds, the leading innovators in the world. The leading innovators are usually associated with rail. And everyone here at this conference is calling for new innovation and technology. And yet, I see some out there who are saying, yes, the new innovation is putting Wi-Fi in their trains. Hardly a winner. But that's what in the world way. is asking for. There are um, others asking for you know, new levels of energy efficiency. And we have some exhibitors here saying, well, they've come up with a new computer. Um, there are others who are saying, well, where's the low carbon footprint? and the environmental benefits. And most exhibitors here are still proposing solutions. Yeah, they're selling products. The products might be more modern, more modern trams, but the solutions are still place the rail on the ground, on sleepers, supported by ballast, divide communities or congest roads and have traffic accidents on the ground because the rolling stock is interacting with cars and people or you come up with something that's new and creative and something that above all those in the minds of many governments and clients is something that is cost effective. I think why we've had so many people here is we are uh, an exhibit here that is unique in that we're not selling a product, we're selling an idea, but we're selling an idea that now has legs because people can see We have the first rolling stock released. We can see an example of a motor that's sitting outside and we can easily describe and illustrate our way structure and the efficiency of what we're on about. So I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to be in collaboration with our designers uh, and our friends actually out of uh, Belarus and keen to see that we can continue to work to have countries like Australia embrace the solution that's here. If you go in the sky, it doesn't have to look ugly. It can look good. This solution looks good. 
if you go in the sky, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be even more expensive than putting a train line on the ground. We have a solution that is cheaper, that will save money. And we have a solution that is good for the environment, low use of energy, fully autonomous vehicles. Uh, there are so many things working for this. And getting to the stage where um, the, um, the test site in Belarus see that operating in the next couple of months and then work to get a test site in Australia are the key steps because our marketing changes once we can point to it and say come and I'll show you what this can do for our country or your country or any company, country that's interested. Thank you Rod and um, another question. Um, a year ago when you first came to Belarus you were impressed. But judging from the fact that half a year or so later you are returning to our country, brought with you uh, a couple of engineers from Auricon, uh, the, the, the prime mission of whom was to um, confirm that you are right. Um, the question is, now this exhibition the fact that these uh, two pieces of rolling stock, namely a unibus and a unibike, are here and they are of a very good quality. One of the German visitors said that they are a better quality than a Mercedes or a BMW. Now, are you 100% sure that our uh, project is serious and for real? Or does any... well? Half percent or small percentage of doubt still remain. Yeah, Mark, I can say yeah quite clearly. I'm on board. I'm investing my time, my energy in making this happen. Yes, when I came here, I all came to Belarus in September last year. I was a lone engineer, if you like, from Australia, uh, being taken through all the design, and I thought the level of detail and everything seemed to be taken account of. I thought it looked good. Then I go back to Australia and I start talking about it, but of course I'm conscious I'm just one engineer in a big country, not a huge population, but a big country, one engineer advocating something that most people haven't heard of. I thought, um, or one is for additional reinforcement, I needed to find some other engineers to go back with, which I did in June. Uh, we took back two engineers from Oricon, uh, but a part of it is reinforcement. The other is that uh, when we build on the ground in Australia, I will need local content. I will need to have designs verified so that I can get the approval. And bringing a firm like Oricon into the tent has been an important part of it. And I can say the guys we took with us in June this year are as convinced and I am, as I am that, uh, that we're on a winner. So yeah, I'm on board. I'm sure we can make it happen. Um, and the rolling stock, I agree, is, um, is brilliant, great to be here and see it. But a key feature, you talk about the quality and you mention a Mercedes. I, as someone who's been involved in transport, I have asked myself the question, why do I have to pay five million Australian dollars to buy a decent tram in 2015 or 2016? Uh, I'm, I've got rolling stock that's carrying people. We're used to buying cars, family cars, good quality vehicles like Mercedes. Um, uh, why would do we pay so much when we call it public transport? It seems there's an industry that's uh, made an industry out of this. And I think a key of this rolling stock is, I know this is a prototype and I know this costs more to build one off for the first time than it will cost to produce it on a regular basis. I can see this being produced on a regular basis for future projects at probably not much more than the cost of a Mercedes vehicle. And that's the way it should be. That's how good the quality is, but it's also how functional and how cost effective we're going to be able to make this work with our waste structure, the design and our rolling stock and um, I just think it's, this will revolutionise transport around the world. Uh, but um, uh, the key is 
building it and it's almost to build it and they will come, they've got to see it. I still face the issue, I talk it up, I sound enthusiastic, but the first question I always get is where can I go and look at it? Once we can answer that, I think we'll just continue to grow from there. Thank you very much, Rod. Uh, I'd like to wind up uh, our exhibition, this fair, and our stay in Berlin with the following words. Divided, we fall, but united, we stand, and we become an impenetrable fortress of innovative ideas and expertise. Thank you for your support. Uh, you are very important for us. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Подписывайтесь на наш канал YouTube, следите за обновлениями новостей на официальном сайте международной группы компаний Skyway по адресу rsvdefisystems.com. Поддерживайте наш проект и переведу последние слова, которыми я закончил интервью с Родом Хуком. Разъединенные мы пропадем, объединенные мы победим. Строй Skyway! Yeah. Спасай планету! That's right. United we stand. Divided we fall.